If we have people coming to our shores and we want to recognize that as a problem and we want to do something about it, well, we can argue the toss until the sun goes down about what's the best way to deal with the problem as it presents itself on the coasts of Kent or Sussex or wherever. But there's another place that we, that we must look at too, which is the countries of origin from which these people are coming. And the point that was being made was this. How can you address the needs of the countries that produce the people who feel obliged to leave when you've reduced your aid budget from 0.7% of our gross national product to 0.5%? If you starved the budget of a third of its income, you were far less able to do anything about improving things in Eritrea or Sudan or wherever. And if you look at the 0.5% that we still spend in a department that has now been merged with the Foreign Office, we always suspected that development money was being used for Foreign Office agendas. Well. If you start to look at it, you see that for the very first time, more of our aid money, our development money, is being spent within the United Kingdom than abroad. So how can you possibly address the needs of the countries producing refugees if you're starving the channels that provide the money of resource? When I look at the record of this place, you people, and recognize that after 50 years or whatever it is you've been doing things, this is the 55th anniversary, I, I do know that, that perhaps there's a little bit of kind of compassion fatigue sets in, or not Christian Aid Week again. How quickly do the years pass by? Please don't think that way. Please redouble your efforts. Please show the world that we are, not, we are not sort of fans of passing fads, but we are deeply committed until our dying day to a cause that alone can change the parameters within which international relations, national plans, community development, and individual well-being are all being played out.